If you haven't heard of transmog ever in your life, then you came to the right place. I guess. Nogmenting in Villagers and Heroes is a process of combining two items into one single item. During the process, you can extract specifications from one item to the other, trying to make a better version. Apart from feats, spells, abilities and stats, you can also change the cosmetic appearance. Gnogmenting an item has limited slots and it depends on the item, how many free open slots you will get to work with. If you wish to add more abilities to the new item, but you already used your free slots, you can utilize sockets. As we already covered it in my previous videos, sockets are extremely valuable because they allow you to utilize the closed slots and add more abilities to your item. After you get your main quest for the mystery of the malicious miscreant, there will be a gnome augmentation expert called Ginny standing in front of his gnomish workshop right on the right side of the town hall in the first area, Summer's Hollow. He, she, it, I don't know, will provide you with a quest to teach you how to augment later on as well as give you a box of items for you to experiment. Let's just start with the basics. Alright guys, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go quickly to Ginny, get another box of maces. Okay, I'm just gonna place this item over here, so we don't actually make a mistake. And here is the button to Gnogman, so I'm just gonna click that, get this item over here, and this item over here. So each of the maces that you're gonna receive have uh, their own ability slotted already. So I'm just, if, you, if I wanna do um, my item as having this customization option over here, and have both abilities slot, I can just click on those. And there we go. Click Nogment. I can see a summary and then click confirm. There we go. So let's do it again. Click on the Nogment. Get the item that we currently created. Get another one. And now if I want to have all three and change the appearance, I can just do that. Click on the abilities. Nogment. See a summary of the new item, click confirm. Don't be afraid to experiment because if you make an inferior item, item than what you currently had before, um, the system is designed in this way that it's going to tell you. So don't be afraid to experiment. Let's do it again. Now I want to have this item over here and this one over here. Change the appearance if I want to. And now look at this. I can slot three abilities, right? But now if I want to add this one, is going to get to uh, the cost is going to increase with one socket. So yeah, be, be very careful how many slots you have available as free and how many are required for you to pay with a socket. Because if you watched one of my previous video, uh, sockets are pretty pretty valuable. So I recommend you not waste them. Um, because you can basically waste them when you get to a higher level, when you actually need them. Uh, so you don't necessarily lose uh, potential uh, money to just buy slots. S uh, sorry, to buy sockets. Uh, and I just want to show you something else over here. So uh, if I get this item... Bone Club of the Wise Wolf, you can see that the power rating is 1 to 8. While we were doing these, these are just the same power rating, uh, power rating 40. Um, but I want to use this blue mace of the Crafty Titan as well. Uh, it's easier, by the way, if you actually hold Alt, you can see the abilities that are slotted in a specific item. And uh, right now, as you can see, the end result is going to be the Green Bone Club of the Wise Wolf. This one is of blue and way, way more um, powerful than the green one, right? But this is because this arrow, arrow is currently active. It's because we're getting the base stats of this item. That's why the end result is going to be green. But if I click here of the blue mace of the crafty titan now it's going to be blue we're inheriting 
the stats of this one when the arrow is actually pointing uh, here. So I will have this blue mace and now I can have those shadow abilities if I want to. You see what I mean? And again, if I switch here, it's going to be green. But be very careful. Be very careful what you do so you don't waste your augmentation. Try uh, and lose a precious item uh, or something like that. Don't just rush on augmenting stuff. Be very careful. But seriously, once you're done with the augmentation, you can talk with Genie again and receive your quest reward. There are some rules when it comes to augmenting. So let's get serious. First, to Gnogman together two items, they must be of the same type. You cannot pair gloves with boots, for example. Second, you're free to add spells and feats from both combat types of your class. This means that if you're a priest, for example, you can have both holy and shadow abilities if you choose to do so. Needless to say, it's better to specialize into one thing for maximum output, but again, it's your choice. Third, all slots of gear is allowed to be augmented, so go wild! Fourth, event themed spells and feats cannot be augmented, and fifth, main class abilities differ from normal abilities and skills and are not compatible with one another, such as for warriors, you can gnog swift gear with defender gear, wizards cannot have fire affinity gnogged with ice, priests cannot have shadow mastery gnogged with healing mastery, and hunters cannot have reinforced gnogged with bow mastery. Be careful with the process of gnogmenting is absolutely permanent. Everything that you cannot add to the item you want to gnogment is gone for good. Don't worry about naming the new item as currently the name is inherited. We will be able to name our items with the new expansion that is coming. Also, know that currently in the game, this is exactly how you change your appearance of your items. With the new expansion, we will have wardrobe system that will replace this, but so far, if you want to change your appearance, this is how you do it. Be extremely careful to look at the item level you wish to take the appearance of, as if you neglect that and it is bigger than your current item level, it will replace the stats. Later in the game, you can mix and match your style with the best in-slot dropped gear from Zingara bosses or the so-called Zingaras that have higher ranking abilities than regular dropped gear as well as utilize Elder Gear and Crafted Gear. Elder Gear have unique and powerful feats that are exclusive only for that type and Crafted Gear have the best possible stats compared to dropped gear or Elder Gear as well as unique abilities of its own. I will be making a separate video about gearing later on because I just realized something. This video has become too unnecessarily complicated. Ugh. See you guys in the next one, I guess.